Okay, so there's a few things you have to do in the winter time with your rain barrel so that the water inside it doesn't ex um, freeze, expand and break the barrel. So the first thing you want to do is empty your barrel. And I've already emptied this one, um, just so I wasn't standing in a wet area while I'm talking to you. And the next thing you'll do after you've emptied it is disconnect it from your downspout. So if you use this kind of barrel, it'll be attached there with some screws. So you'll have to undo the screws and then you can just pull it out. Oops. And you can see that some maintenance is needed. I've got some leaves and stuff that were backing up in there. Um, this is a good time to check your entire downspout to see if there's leaves and stuff. And also check your gutter system as well. Um, so I'm gonna just get some of those leaves out of there. Ooh. There we go, it's all cleared down at the bottom now. Um, store your downspout diverter and the pipe somewhere safe over the winter. Um, I usually put them in my shed because if I put them in the garage, I'll never find them again. Um, once you have removed it, then you'll use your cap to seal the hole. Okay, so this rain barrel hooks up slightly different from the one we just looked at. Um, so this is where we've got the diverter on it. So after I've emptied it, pull off the connection here and then put a cap on it. Now you can put the cap on the bottom, but I actually prefer putting it on the inside. So I'm just going to twist it on there. And now that that is disconnected from the rain barrel, the water is just going to come down and down the downspout like normal. So do make sure that you have your splash guard in place. So some people will actually take their barrels indoors over the winter um, to put in their garage or a barn or a shed. I don't, I leave mine outside. As long as they're disconnected from the downspout and there's no water inside and you've emptied it, then they'll be fine. Um, you can place them upside down just so you don't get any ice forming up here. Uh, but ice forming up here, when it expands, it will expand up the way and it should not damage your, your barrel.